Oyo government declares 1,800 bags of rice unfit for consumption, returned them to federal government. Four days after receiving 1,800 bags of rice from the federal government, the Oyo state government on Friday resolved to return all the bags of rice having deemed the grains of rice to be infested and unhealthy for consumption. Executive advisor to, she to Governor Sheyi Makinde on agribusiness, Dr. Debo Akonde, who made this announcement at State Secretariat Ibadan, said the decision was reached after a series of inspections done by the Food Security Committee of the COVID-19 Task Force. He said the state government discovered that the grains of rice were infested by weevil and other pests and took the decision in the interest of the health of residents of the state. Akonde, however, said the return of the 1,800 bags will not affect the state distribution of palliatives, noting that the state had gathered enough rice for distribution to citizens. He added that the state was keen on receiving replacement of the bags of rice from the federal government. In contributing to provision of COVID-19 palliatives, Controller Oyo Oshun, command of the Nigeria Customs Service, Mrs. Helen Ngozi, had on Monday handed over 1,800 bags of rice each to the governments of Oyo, Oshun, and Ekiti State, while it handed over 600 bags to the Ondo State government. Said, we received these items from the federal government via the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and we brought them here to the warehouse and in it, it is in the process of further inspection that we discover that almost all the grains of rice has been infested by weevil and other pests. On that basis, we formed a committee to inspect it again so that we are really sure of what we have received and we think this rice is not consumable for human being. As such, such material cannot be distributed as part of palliatives in the state. We don't want to start providing solutions to a problem and then create another problem. We have done random selection. We see that similar things applies across board and the committee has agreed to return to its source. And if there is any replacement of good quality that will be sent to us, we will be glad to receive it. A good number of food items have been received by the Food Security Committee. Even before we receive those ones, we have received good number of products from the good citizens of the state and we have added with the one the state government is putting its funding into and that will be distributed in a couple of days. What we have done is that we put a robust system in place for distribution and that have finalized with. We are returning all the 1,800 bags of rice. We initially assumed that it was just some part of it that was infested, but some commissioners from five or six ministries came with me to inspect, and we realized that it is not just some, but quite a lot of them were infested. We do quality control of all that we receive. It is just that that was received from the federal government that we found infested, Akonde said. Hmm. Wow, it's a good thing that they really did this, uh, they did a thorough job because at the end of the day, because <laughs> you, you, you trust uh, Nigerians, as soon as they are getting it, as they are seeing all manner of things, they start videoing it and it will go viral. I think that's why they are even, even skeptical and they are scared of. But the question is that they share the same rise across uh, you know all over the country many states lagos received theirs as well some other states received their ogun i think they received theirs as well does it mean they didn't do they didn't see all of those or the people that they shared with share it for they didn't look at all those things or they didn't see that well they are saying they are returning it of course if really they are not saying the truth as they are returning it back to the federal government the federal government we we, we look into it and see whether it is true or not. But kudos to them for them to have taken time to have checked it. But I know if they have shared that rice and people get to know uh, how bad the rice is, definitely they will video it and trust Nigerians with the help of social media. It will go viral. It will really go viral. So for them not to 
be blamed. They just like, you know, to even save the federal government of that embarrassment, it is better they return the whole thing. I think uh, since they said they have their own, they have enough, more than enough. If the government can, the federal government can bring replacement of those returned rice, it will be fine. But even before now, a lot of people have come out and said, this rice that they, they kept, they, they kept for how many months? Close to eight months, if not more than that. And they told us that the rice were not good, according to the custom uh, DG. He said the rice were not good and they seized it because the way smugglers brought it in. All of a sudden, you are bringing the same rice. You are sharing the same rice. What now happened? What now happened? That is why people don't trust the government. People don't believe in what they say. The same rice you rejected, the same rice you seized. So what were you keeping them for? I don't just understand because if really those rice were bad, they would have destroyed them or get rid of them. They kept it and, you know, opportunity just came. The next thing, they started sharing it to the people. That's not how to do things. That is not how to do this. Just like uh, your, your state government is saying that they cannot say you are trying to solve problem and create problem in trying to solve problem again. It's, it doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make sense at all. Someone says this is a PDP state. That is why federal government take their uh, there to uh, they take their uh, dam uh, take their take it there to damage the image of the state governor, brave best governor of the southwest. Okay. Hmm. God save us so from evil, from evil. That is to tell you that Nigeria isn't one. How can this uh, Fulani be sending condemned rice to the Yorubas after they have been sharing cash to their people in the north? A state of 33 local governments, how many bags per each local government? That is not what we are talking about. We are talking about that the rice is not good. They are infested. That's what they are saying here. But the question I ask, the same rice, is it the same rice that was shared in uh, Ogun State and Lagos State and other states? Because from what we are hearing, uh, uh, 600 bucks for each state, that means well, that's 1,800. So the three states, that the ones they are returning the rice back to the federal government. They need to look into that, which is not really, it's not really uh, looking good. Infestation with weevils and pests. I cannot understand how infestation uh, with weevils becomes contamination how can you determine um how can you determine contamination without chemical testing the beans and rice we have been eating for ages are infested with weevils even semo has weevils we don't throw them away hope this uh, purported return does not find its way to body jam markets <laughs> okay they must bring pictures of when they are returning the rice back to customs this is a slap on the federal government if you seize rice on the basis that they are not good for consumption why returning it around to distribute back to the masses i think all these things should be taken to daura for them and their animals return but not resell i pray <laughs> poisonous rice seized from smugglers as claimed by customs general is safe good job by or your state government safety of all your citizens first exactly safety of all your citizens first and just like some people have said that they should make sure they return the rice back to the federal government it should not find or they, they should not find their way back to bodija and begin to sell, sell it of course since uh, they've made our pronouncement definitely they will return it back to the federal government of course they will be expecting them to replace it and and somebody was trying to quote uh, what I don't understand uh, that uh, how can uh, weevils and pests be in rice that the ones that we have been eating before now they have a uh, all of those things are you really sure uh -huh, that's a different thing and it's good that they just re return it like I said if you don't do that people will just they will just snap it and um, video make a video of it we've been seeing a lot of videos like that uh, on social media uh some of the package they shared for them in data states we've been seeing them all over the place people have been making videos of uh, what they have been receiving and they are like how can you be giving us such such a thing but at least this uh goes a long way to tell us that there are some people who still raising very well but some people say oh is it because uh, it is a pdp state or or what but let's keep a uh, uh, finger crossed definitely i know that uh, the federal government will will soon reply they will soon respond to this uh, allegation in the first place so guys
and let us hear your opinion leave your comment below and let's have your three